and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about another bike that's out there on sale right now it's a newly released bike from Engway it's the M20 you're hearing probably a lot about this bike lately it's sure making the rounds and I wanted to do a little talk about it so we'll do that on this video and uh, So the Engway M20 is a moped style e-bike. It's a 48 volt, 750 watt sustained and 1000 watt peak motor. <clears throat> it uh, has a, a torque of uh, 55 Newton meters, so it's not gonna throw you off the bike or anything but that you can get by with that um, I don't know how well it would be on hills uh, you'd like to get up at least be up in the 80 range probably of torque to get some good uh, power for going up hills uh, so the battery setup on the bike is optional whether you want a single battery or if you want a dual uh, battery setup. The uh, battery is 48 volt, 13 amp hour single, or if you get the second battery, it's also 13 amp hour, which would give you a total of 26. And uh, it does come with fenders. It's got like a dual looks like a dual headlight setup which is probably pretty good for uh, your night riding I'm sure it is and uh, it comes with a tail light I'm not sure if there's a brake light integrated or not most times now they do but I don't know for sure if that one has or not it comes with mechanical disc brakes it's an aluminum alloy, 6061 aluminum alloy uh, frame, which is pretty common. Uh, the bike is, uh, they're saying the bike can go a speed of up to 28 miles per hour top speed which would make it a class 3 capable of class 3 uh, let's see what else is there uh, so the tires are 20 by 4 inch fat tires as I see a lot of debris in this bike lane here. Let's see what else uh, with this bike, the colors. So the bike does come in a choice of three colors. You can pick the black, the white, or the green. I would probably pick for me on that bike, the black. I'm hearing something rub on the on the bike here. I gotta get off and see what that is. I think it's the fender in the back that's rubbing. 
some kind of rubbing sound. Let me see what this is. I don't know if it's the fender or what that noise is a little bit, but all right. Let's see. So let's see what else is there is on the bike. I think I pretty much covered most all of the main specs that people want to know. So the, I can't remember the bat, uh, what the range is they, they say, but I never believe the range that they give you because uh, it never seems to be, they're always on the high end. I think the way I look at it to be safe, if you're just using throttle, is basically especially if you're going like full throttle or pretty fast i usually go by like about one mile per amp hour i might be way off but that's the safe side for me it's probably a little bit you can go probably a little further than that but just throttle only i always think of that as the safe like that's that's my guess so if i was riding the as i am now the lyric graffiti and with two batteries I think I, and they're both 17.5, I think I could probably get 35 miles. Now I, I could be wrong, but that's usually the way I go by how far you can go on a charge. I usually go like one mile per amp hour. That's, that's how I calculate it. Some bikes or some folks riding on the bike you know we're all different shapes and sizes and everything bikes and people so you can't really give a, a number you can give an estimate so I usually go by that one amp hour is one mile and then just go from that so anyway the bike I didn't give the price so so the price on the bike I do a UE here. I'm going to go over this way. There's an out. So the price on the bike is they've got a deal going on right now that $100 off. So if you buy the dual battery, it's currently going for $15.99 and the single battery is $12.99. So $300 difference. I'd pay the extra $300 for the difference. And then they also have a discount code that you can use in there that'll save you another $150 off the bike. So that would get you down from $1599, say $1600, to $1450, and that's for the dual battery. And then if you buy the single battery, it'll get you down to uh, 1150, which is pretty darn good, you know. But it's only a 13 amp hour battery, and if you use my calculations, that would only get you about 13 miles on a charge. So that wouldn't be a lot. I personally, I'd pay the extra 300 and get the second battery. And uh, but anyway, uh, overall, the bike looks really good. And I think it's, I think it's right there. I think it's a fair deal, the price-wise, compared to what the going rate of bikes are. So uh, I would say, uh, if you're interested in the bike and don't want to, you know, you're on a kind of a budget there, and you don't want to spend a gazillion dollars on a bike, I think that's a pretty fair deal. With using those uh, discounts. Uh, so. So 1450 for the dual battery. And uh, 1150 
for the single battery. That's pretty good. So if you have a comment about this bike, maybe you've ridden it before, or I don't know if you, you may not have ridden it because it's pretty new. I shouldn't say ridden it, but maybe you've already purchased one. And, and if you did, what made you uh, decide to purchase that bike? And uh, if you have any other comments about this or any other video, just go ahead and leave it in the uh, comments. And if you like this video, hit the like button. I'm hearing that sound again. Not sure what that rubbing is, but I'm going to have to look at that. But also, uh, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, Just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. I'm just going to do a UE here and go back this way. It's a beautiful day out here. I don't want to get off the bike. So that's gonna So that's gonna do it for this video here on the channel. So once again thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time. Take care.